Back in the good old days of analog recording, creating a fade out effect where a track would gradually decrease in volume at its end was a painstaking exercise in mathematical calculation. Nowadays, most digital audio workstations can automate the perfect fade out for you. GarageBand is no exception. In this quick tip, I'll show you how. In GarageBand for Mac, you'll first need to correctly set up your end point marker, as this denotes where your fade out will take place. I'll drag it here to where the project ends. Now, in the mix menu in the toolbar, if I select create volume fade out on main output, the project's master track will open and volume automation has been automatically added to create a fade out. In GarageBand for iOS slash iPadOS, it's even simpler. If I open the settings menu here, there's a toggle switch which adds an automatic fade out at the end of the project. That'll about do it for this quick tip. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com. Bye for now.